Hi, good afternoon. My name's Ryan. I'm one of the teachers working here at Clever Touch. Today we're going to be looking at using CleverShare and Picture in Picture using our Impact Lux uh, Google certified screen. So the screens themselves will all have the CleverShare app natively installed on the screen. If I come into my menu and settings from here, you'll see that the screens will also support Chromecast, AirPlay and Miracast. So if users come into your classrooms, they can also use those applications to cast or mirror to the screens. Today, I'm gonna to be using the CleverShare application on one of my connected devices here, which is an Android tablet. The CleverShare application is a free application to download and you can install this on any device you may well have in your school uh, building. I've made my device discoverable here today. So essentially, all I'm going to do here is select my device from the list. If I don't have my device as discoverable, I can simply enter the code that appears into the top of the screen into the application on my device. That will then tell me I'm connected to the screen in front of me. And then from here, I have the option to mirror my device to the screen. We can connect up to 50 devices to the screen and we can show up to nine devices simultaneously um, to our Clever Touch screen. I'm gonna turn on my mirroring on my device. You'll see I have permissions mode enabled on my screen. So this will stop people casting to the screen without the teacher's permission uh, at the front. I'm going to accept that content and then instantly you can see I've now been able to connect my device to the screen and I can then work through any applications I may well have on my device, including things like Lynx Whiteboard, which is our free lesson preparation software. One of the really nice features here is if we have the ability to turn on the camera on our device and then we have the option to use this, this device as a live visualizer in the room. Um, in the bottom left hand corner of my screen, I have the option to disconnect this device. I have the option to mute this device if I'm sharing video or, or music content from this particular device. I also have the option then to undock my window, which would then leave my CleverShare window as a floating window on top of my screen, which is very useful if you're using other applications on the screen, for example, like Lynx Whiteboard, where we can then use tools over the top of this content or capture this content to other videos. Okay, if I just redock this window here now using the little floating panel and the redock window, that would then take me back into my device. If we have multiple windows connected and multiple devices sharing to the screen at once, we would also, from our little pop-out panel on here, have the option to zoom in to any particular window that's connected to the screen. If I now disconnect my device, what I'll do is I'll use the other feature which we have available with the screen, which is called Desktop Sync. So desktop sync is one of the options that appears on your Clever Touch, Clever Share interface from here. So initializing desktop sync, and again, I'm going to authorize this from here, would then allow me, rather than showing my device on the Clever Touch screen, would then allow me to share that device back to any other device that I have in the room. So again, I can then cast back from the Clever Touch screen to up to 50 devices in the room particularly useful if you have pupils who have a visual impairment, they can then have a close up of whatever the teacher is, is doing on the screen on their own individual device in front of them. Further to that, if I come into view the main interface and devices at the bottom here, I can see my device is now connected via the desktop sync feature. I have the ability from here to authorize touch back to this device. And then this device here would then become a remote control from my screen and any content that I have on the screen, I can then manage from my device anywhere in the room. So that's the CleverShare feature and using that with the Google certified EDLA screen. The other option we have here is using our picture in picture app. So scrolling up from near the bottom of the screen will reveal all my applications that are installed on the CleverTouch screen. If I come here, I have picture in picture mode. And what this will allow me to do is use my connected device. Currently, I've got a Chromebook connected to the screen. This will allow me to use that connected device as a picture in picture in window. So it's a really useful function when you're in class that you can then have a connected device as a screen and have that shown as a little window in your um, Clever Touch Lux screen. You can also see as I resize the window easily, I've also got the ability to then control that device with touch through my picture in picture in window. Thanks for watching our little video today where we've been looking at CleverShare and using CleverShare with your Google EDLA certified Impact Lux screen. Uh, do check out our other videos for some really useful features on our Clever Touch screens.